What's up YouTube, it's Jonathan with Off-Road Place. And finally, the Texas heat has calmed down. And so we're gonna go five hours northwest to Maris Adventure Park uh, over in Cloud, Texas, and uh, spend a couple nights uh, overlanding and, and doing some off-roading. We're about 50 miles out right now. Uh, still got about four hours until we get to Maris kicked off the road trip like we always do and grab some water burger or wob as the cool kids say. Man, what'd you do to your foot? I fractured it. How'd you fracture it? We don't talk about it. <laughs> I want to know. A diving board. A diving board. You fractured your foot on a diving board. Did you jump yeah. off the diving board? No. Oh, so how'd you fracture it? Going around it. Going around the diving board. Those are tricky. You gotta watch out for that. We got a gator on the 494. Off to do some sketchy shit. Do da, do da. So Maris Adventure is next to Palo Duro Canyon, which is also known as the Grand Canyon of Texas and it's only five hours from Dallas. So I'm, I'm driving out with my brother Jeremy and we're gonna meet our other friend Brian who drives a Lexus GX and we're gonna you know, spend a few days doing the trails inside the canyon uh, as well as overlanding on our rooftop tents and uh, just trying to have a good time and, and get out of the city for a little bit. So we're almost there, we're just a couple miles away from Maris Adventure Park and Got a campsite that's supposed to have an awesome view, like right on the top side, of the, uh, looking out to the canyon. So uh, and it's about six o'clock, so we got. We'll probably just wait for Brian because I don't know if he has Gaia. I haven't dropped the pin. I'm not sure if maps will find it. I don't know. Copy that. But anyway, finally there. It's gonna be. Uh, it looks pretty awesome. So it's like the destination is on your left. Like Maris Adventure Park. Ghost Town. Where is the hills? <sighs> all right, so we finally made it to Maris Adventure Park. Looks like we got all of the campsite to ourselves, which is gonna be awesome. So now we're just gonna go ahead and air down and, and get to the campsite and uh, start putting up tents and and uh, think about dinner. What do you think about the drive, Jeremy, with, uh, without a passenger in the car? I mean, I got to finish a couple podcasts. Nice. Yeah. No, it was good. It's easy to drive. Yeah, it's not bad. Not at all. All right. So this is our, our trash -roo. And uh, what do I keep in this trash -roo? The poo potty. You keep the poo potty in the trash -roo. That's how we roll. And we have a privacy shelter so that when nature calls, you can sit in peace and quiet. Hey, I got a question. Who's emptying that after it's been used? Well, I think since it's my purchase, I'll have to uh, take care of the waste after, unfortunately. But that's, uh, it's well worth it. You want to test it out for us? I'll show you in the morning. <laughs> Brian, AKA, Shamu just arrived as well. I think he made it in like three hours, no. going 110 <laughs> <laughs> with with this beast. He did get 35s put on, and it looks mighty nice. How do you like the 35s? Uh, the gas mileage is terrible. Well, uh, nine, ten, somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah. nice. Are we good to go? We are down. Lynx yeah. says it's at 18. So we're good.
So this is our campsite for the next two nights. East, uh, East something. Isn't this awesome? East Rise. East Rise. Isn't this great? Pretty awesome to think this is in West Texas. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is great. This doesn't play in the morning. Yeah. yeah. This doesn't feel like Texas. No, it feels like Colorado or hey, Arizona. Don't be like wheeling over here, then fall down this cliff. Yeah, be careful. All right, don't be <laughs> wheeling yourself and lose control. Did that breaks? It does. Okay. <laughs> One. One Careful. One rear break. That doesn't even work. <laughs> All right, that's good, man. You're good. Yeah, that's close enough, buddy. <laughs> you wouldn't even think this is out here. Yeah. It's so quiet. Ow! It was quiet. My coyotes. Do you speak coyote? Yeah. What, what did you just say? Do you speak coyote? Sup, friends. Sup, friends? Yeah. Okay, I like it. So this is what makes the gas and the miles and the planning all worth it. Because you get to see views like this that you can hear about, but it's not the same until you actually are there. So it's day two and we are doing a test track before we go down to drop into the canyon. And this is just a good exercise to see how you do in the moguls and how much rub that you have going on. And it's also a good exercise to see what kind of articulation uh, you're getting. Since Brian and I just recently both upgraded the 35s. So this is a, this is a really good test uh, just to see how we do with, with this kind of environment.
Hey, you took the bypass in the rut. I did. <laughs> oh, I didn't see it. I just didn't. We had a good night, night one at camp, and now we're already out. Did like a, a test run that they had set up with some moguls, and now we're gonna drop into the canyon soon. So we had an awesome day hitting the trails and enjoying the scenery both in the canyon and then and driving out uh, on top there. And so now we're getting ready to eat dinner. And we also noticed that the temperatures have decided to drop a little bit. And there's also some rain in the forecast. So we have to think about our plans for tomorrow if we're going to do a guided ride in the morning or if we're going to go ahead and head back. chess and cards, but of course... I would have to be able to feel my fingers. Yeah. So the temperatures are dropped down to 40 degrees and looks like rain is a few hours away. And without being able to uh, have an open fire, it's getting a little chilly. Um, so we're just going to have to make the best of it. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> this day went by a lot faster. Yeah, than... well, I couldn't believe when we were coming out of there, it was after we did the pictures, it was 4 o'clock. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. I feel like it went by a lot faster than like Jambo. We made some, man, we made, I mean, we covered just, some tracks. But yeah. we were moving slow too. Huh? We were, it was slow going. Not, 
I don't know. We were, well, when we got when you got it. down in the canyon, it was. yeah, when we were in the canyon. It was slow going yeah. through that one trail. Once we get out of the, it's. I mean, once we get on the main, yeah, the beginner trails, it's pretty fast moving. But it's, you can't be you can't mm-hmm. be going fast on the main. No, so. no, but that, that's what I mean. It, it took a lot of time to get to that intermediate. It was a lonesome. Whoa! <laughs> you hear that frog, man? <laughs> the yeah. frog over there, did, the did you hear that? The brush That's over there. Oh man. my gosh! Where's that frog? I'm so mad. I smell it. <laughs> where, where is that frog? I don't. I don't know. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Backdraft. Whew. Yeah, I hope I can make it till tomorrow morning. <laughs> I don't know. That one's kind of ripe. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> uh, that is a good old laugh. What are you doing? I'm looking for a deck of cards. Oh, I got a deck of cards, and I think I know where they're at. <laughs> what do you want to play? I don't know. Something. Poker. Texas Hold'em. Spades. I feel like Jeremy has like a secret endless bag in his truck because every time you need something he'll go and dig something out Chronicles of Narnia, he just goes in there and comes back out yeah oh my hey, god i'm just organizing yeah it all is. oh you needed like gloves for like hot grease here you go <laughs> <laughs> oh i got i got a dozen extra eggs and uh and coffee <laughs> you need gloves do you have wipes too yeah i got some wipes sure do you need some matches yeah batteries it's like it's it's all hidden somewhere in there so we had a a great second night and we decided that we're going to go ahead and and head back to dallas just because we don't know what the weather's going to do all right so we are doing our air up What's that? calling it it's chilly it's chilly more rain coming had rain overnight so we're uh we're gonna go ahead and air up and head back to Dallas. But a great trip. We had some pretty good weather. And so it's it's time to head back to the city. Yeah. Oh, I told you that. It's gonna be a while. I got Van doing some work. Nice. You know. You're good at that. You can do that. That's good. That's, yeah, I figured he could stand there and do that. He won't hurt himself. Yeah. <laughs> then 30 seconds later, he falls over. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so we'd come to find out all those cars lined up are going on the group ride, and we'll learn later that most of those cars have to get winched out because of the rain that comes and uh, it just gets too That's slick in the no canyon. Answers. So we made the right choice to head back and not spend the next three or four hours winching people up and out of the canyon. All right, so we had, a, we had rain come overnight, rain for a few hours, and uh, we woke up and, and the temperature dropped. We decided we're gonna go ahead and head back to the city because this, uh, this silt and sand will get pretty slick uh, with, with water. It was, a, it was a great trip, had some great off-roading uh, and some, some technical trails and stuff like that. So it was, it was awesome. So, uh, so yeah, we recommend Marist Adventure and we'll definitely be back out here. Uh,